There are so many things an airline has to take care of when operating a modern jetliner. Plugging outlets in, draining fluids out, closing that door, opening this one, all before the airplane ever leaves the ground. It's why these mechanics from a a the first airline to fly the all-new Boeing 787, are in Seattle to train with a real-life Dreamliner. My first impression was, what a great airplane. Being able to see it with my own eyes and touch it with my own hands is a really valuable experience. So when you disconnect there, you always latch the panel back. Over several days, Boeing trainers and the a a technicians go through every phase of servicing a 787 while it's on the ground. From unlocking and opening the forward cabin door, to towing the airplane in and out of a stall, to loading containers in the cargo hold. It's all procedures these mechanics have learned during maintenance training, but there's nothing like performing them on the real thing. Having touched it for the first time as a ground handler, the displays and the walks are really easy to use. It definitely uh, takes practice. You have to get some training, uh, both for safety's sake as well as just the airplane systems, understanding how the airplane systems work. It's especially true for the 787 Dreamliner, which comes with a suite of new state-of-the-art features, like extensive use of lightweight composites and more electric systems. To adjust, teams from a a have spent years preparing procedures for the 787 to ensure a smooth entry into service for passengers and crew. It's a brand new plane, which means it comes with high expectations and, on the other hand, some worries. But having actually been able to touch it during training, all those worries have disappeared. In fact, now my expectations are even higher. I was very really impressed. They really study hard, they're very knowledgeable, they care every detail. This select group of technicians will become teachers themselves, as they will show their colleagues back in Japan what they've learned. And they know there's a lot riding on it. There's not much time left till we put the 787 into service, which makes today all the more valuable. I'll go back and tell all my colleagues what it was like, and we'll make our first flight a huge success.